Yo guys, Pokemon Master 556 here, and it has been a long time since I've done a bot cards by mail video, and as you can see by the background, there's quite a few PSA cards, and there is quite a few more. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff here, a um, couple ungraded goodies, um, as you can see tons of graded stuff too. Um, I actually do have one thing that is still sealed in its box here, and a priority mailbox, still a... Uh, still sealed up um i do this for a specific reason keeping stuff sealed because i don't know if the new seller that i buy stuff from is giving me accurate descript descriptions when i buy something from them so i kind of show it on video i try to show it um being open so that if i have to open a case against them they don't try to screw me over so first thing i purchased here it's this first edition base hit Monchano. It's pretty good looking look pack pulled. Um, a little bit of scratches on the front of it. Um, but as you could see here, I mean, like it's a it's a pretty clean looking card for the most part. I mean, I would picture it getting maybe an 8.5 or a 9. Hopefully a 9 um, would be pretty sweet to get a first edition base set card. Because I bought that for a really good price. Um, these were supposed to be pack pulled. This one looks like probably an 8. So it'll be a binder card. Um, Ampharos. And then just a couple of random. Uh, uncommons and uncommons here. Um, from Neo Revelations. Um, I'm really really close to getting something. For my Neo Revelation stuff. So maybe I'll show that to you guys. Sometime at a later date. When it's more complete. I don't want to spoil it just yet. Some of you guys may know what I'm already talking about. But anyways, some of the PSA cards here. Um, picked up a PSA 9 Mischievous because the guy sold it to me for a pretty good deal. So I figured why not um, use that as a placeholder for my set. Um, so I got a 10 Farfetch from base. I've been after this card for a decent price for a while, finally got it. Um, if you guys were watching the first edition base set auctions of PSA 10 cards, I was going to go after 11 of the auctions. And uh, the cards sold for such ridiculous, stupid prices. The people that won them and got in the bid wars over them, I just want to reach through the internet and slap them across their stupid faces for paying 300 plus dollars just for trainer rares uh the dragonair from the first edition base set sold for 405 dollars i believe and i'm sorry sir but you are stupid for having paid that <laughs> i don't care if you've been looking for it for a year or not but you're just something wrong with you <laughs> that's all i have to say so we got the electabuzz here um I only won four of those auctions. This was from something else. I ended up buying from uh, someone else on eBay. So I picked up that. Um, just a couple cards here from Crack Rock McCabe are hiding in here as well that I picked up from him. So this one of them here was the Arcanine. Um, let us see here. I think this is another one from him that I picked up. I uh, feel like he sold this to me for a pretty good fair price. So more than delighted to pick up that I have a feeling as I'm setting these up they're probably gonna come tumbling down so hopefully they don't do that um, picked up a plus power only I paid a pretty hefty price for this one I think I ended up paying like 85 ship for it the guy was in United Kingdom and he would not ship outside of his country unfortunately so I had an awesome guy Jim in 10 from uh, Instagram he picked it up for me and uh, shipped it to me so really appreciate that bro <laughs> got a Metagross EX from Hidden Legends got a 10 on that of course I am only a couple cards away from completion of a 10 set so if and you know anyone with a uh, Reg Ice or Reggie Rock in a 10 from that set I would love to know because I would really appreciate that trying to buy that got the Deli Bird here from Neo Revelations Funny thing was, this is actually from a buddy of mine, Pokinar, which I actually originally sold this to him. Um, this was my card at one point, and here it is back again in my position. <laughs> so um, I never thought I'd get as close as I am to completing a Neo Revelation set in PSA 10. Um, 
nor did I think I actually had a much better chance of getting Neo Discovery, but I am really, really close, guys. I am rocking it with those two sets. I've um, got the Hound Doom I picked up off someone from Instagram in Australia. It finally showed up a couple days ago, so I'm really happy with that one. Sold it to me for a pretty fair price as well. This next one here will actually complete my Aquapolis Crystal set in Japanese. Um, my Kingdra is unlimited though, but as you guys may know, unlimited is harder to come by anyway, so I'm fine with having an unlimited version. So, picked up this Lugia for a pretty fair price as well. So happy to have that. This card right here, very, very pleased with. Um, it took a little while for me to end up buying it off the guy because he wanted to see what kind of offers he could get on it. But this is the very first first edition PSA 10 Hollow from base set that I have in my possession. <laughs> um, was not cheap by any means. Um, pretty pleased to have this in my possession. Very awesome card to have. So hopefully I could continue to make some sales so I could try to buy up some more PSA 10 base set cards. <laughs> This one you may have seen on my Instagram, and I just recently bought this, and it really did hurt, hurt my wallet, <laughs> but finally got it, PSA 10 Neo Revelation Suicune. So very happy to have this card. Um, got it from somebody named Gotta Catch Em All off of uh, UPCCC, which is the Pokemon boards for forums. Um, pretty awesome so really do appreciate that you sold that to me and that you pulled it out of a booster box man that is awesome very very happy with that um i still have to open up this package here so i will be cracking into this right now there should be now i don't know if he shipped these two things to me separately or not but i am hoping that he shipped both sets together as one because he had uh, two separate uh, shipping labels, but I think that he canceled the other one. Got here some bubble wrap. Looks like my receipt. So I made an eBay deal from, from off of him, and then afterwards I messaged him and talked to him about another thing here, and uh, he actually said that, oh yeah, I've got one of those. So he sold me that as well. So I've got two things here in bubble wrap. Um, obviously unopened here so I'll go ahead and crack into that I really really hope this set looks good as I'm only missing a few cards in PSA 10 from the set and the set is just overall production value is poop but to obtain another set of this is so awesome especially since I've been looking for quite a while and they seem to be quite difficult to come across over the past year. I've been having issues finding them. So, as you can see, looks like these aren't, I thought that they were individually sleeved, maybe not. Hopefully, I know that they were taking pictures inside of the binder. Um, then he removed them from the the nine page pockets so that they wouldn't slip and slide all over the place and shipping and guys trust me you don't want people to ship stuff to you in a binder unless they really know what they're doing with shipping very important um another set here so i'll be cracking into those here in a moment really such stuff is not in a sleeve like this um a little bit nervous to touch them up with my bare hands to show them really don't like uh, risking scratching stuff up and I see every every youtuber online touching all over their hollows and I'm just like what are you guys doing these are 400 million dollar cards and you're rubbing your dirty grimy fingers all over them so people are just crazy in my opinion so we're just gonna do Okay, yeah, this card looks pretty good, but I could also, right off the bat, I saw a uh, pack pulled print line at the top. You could see it right there. Sad day for Ampharos. I've had like nine of these things, and not a single one was ever 10 worthy. 
so yeah from the looks of things I mean just a little little wear right there um, and then two factory nicks from what I could see um, was really wish that I had a spot to set these in so well, I'm gonna pause grab the sleeves all right so I'm back with some sleevage not cleavage I said sleevage so um, when I bought this set I actually intended really you know to hope for PSA 10s on the cards that I'm missing such as this Ampharos here which unfortunately lonely looks like it'll grade a 9 sometimes even an 8 depending on how picky PSA is being toward you um, sleeve up this blissey here and take a look at the hollow pattern I'm not gonna I'm gonna fly through most of this stuff and if this card looks flawless on the front I will just scream because this card is a pop three I know Ampharos is lower but this card is uh, actually unfortunately kind of looks like it's got a damage um, it looks like yeah it does have a which oh my goodness this card was a 10 candidate until just a second ago um, you could see you can see that crease line there the top left so there is some damage on it maybe I could get that out of the card um, sometimes I can sometimes I can't but this card actually looks like it was 10 worthy which really freaking sucks that it's got any sort of damage on it at all whatsoever because a card especially of this rare caliber getting a 10 and then having a crease on it really really pisses me off probably wind up talking to the seller a little bit if the not all the quality is up to par as I always do and I always wind up getting money back and I really hate doing that to sellers but just it's important to check over your cards and stuff like that before you sell them to people so this one's got a very small nick down there at the corner so I likely won't be grading this either um, I do have a couple sets of this in a binder um, and they are mint for the most part um, as I said I'm not really gonna try to grade all these cards I'll grade cards that look 10 just because I know how many people are looking for these cards in PSA 10 and it's just the population is so incredibly low that it sucks so this card looks like a nine as well um, I know I understand the production value of these cards and normally they come with small wear and nicks such as that down there at the bottom corners like that all the time I've opened up a booster box and I've seen other people do it as well so I know what to expect in terms of quality from this set and it's really hit and miss um, looks like this one has a nice pack pulled line going right through the top of it there up on its head this is actually I think one of the easier cards to grade in a 10 as well um, so I fully understand I could end up buying this set and potentially wind up with no 10s as it happened the first time I bought a set I think I got a 10 on a deli bird out of the whole entire hollow set of 16 hollows and that was it just one 10 a deli bird nonetheless <laughs> too so it's just like wow this one's got some lines through it as well at the bottom I mean yeah granted it'll be kind of nice to have another binder set would be cool so yeah that one's got a tiny bit of edge wear sorry if I'm going through this kind of slowly for you guys um, maybe you could learn something from the way that I do things by the way I touch my hold my cards and don't touch the hollow and try to get you know just good quality stuff um, this card looks to be can't really see any scratches on it but this card's really hard to get scratches on it because it's the ho is so ginormous in the card um, card looks pretty good it's got a tiny bit of wear down there that's literally all that's wrong with this card is this tiny amount of wear down there at the bottom on both edges which sucks because if I could get one of those cards and grade it in a 10 <laughs> It would pay for pretty much this whole entire purchase altogether. <laughs> Most of it. Or Hound Doom. Hound Doom would do amazing, but 
Hound Doom's a really tough card to get in a 10, even with how little of hollow there is in it. And I'm not seeing any scratches on it, but it's always a disappointment when you turn around a card and holy crap. It's one I wouldn't quite consider to be anything higher than 9 or 10 worthy. It's got literally two tiny specks on the bottom, but I might consider grading this because it's got flawless centering and doesn't appear to... Oh, nope, there's one right there but kind of looks like my 10 that I have, so worst comes to worst, I could put uh, 10 on my, I forgot what it is, where they don't encapsulate your cards unless it gets the grade you want it to get. Just so that I don't have them, I don't want to crack open the cases every time. Back of this one is flawless, actually. So if the front of this one looks good, and it doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's what I mean. You see the quality of this these sets all the time. You'll end up with a perfect back, and you'll end up with you see that at the top by the snowman's head. You'll end up with scratches, vertical, horizontal, you name it. It's always the biggest turn off about this set. Magneton right off the bat, right across. I mean these cards are. Not bad looking at all by any means. Um, baby, baby nicks. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't put a past pack pulled set, you know. Um, he said that he opened these packs up with his wife and stuck them straight into the binder. Uh, Mischievous, this is a really hard one as well. As you've seen like, I don't know, you probably can't see the scratches, but there is some light pack pulled marks going through the card horizontal unfortunately um, only one little spot aware down here at the corner so I might consider grading this one just to see if it could pull it off um, I feel like sometimes when you grade cards they grade stuff with a little bit of leeway to them because they know how hard it is to find a flawless card because they have so many nines you know but I don't know how they how they consider to grade cards like that Absolutely beautiful cards though, for sure. This one looks really nice on the front. <laughs> Moving along to Raikou, or Raikou, whatever you want to call it, which I have like, I think I've got about five of these things, four or five Raikous, which is awesome. Um, unfortunately, I've never graded one in a 10 myself. I had to buy one from Hisoka. 107. <laughs> Thankfully, he gave me the hookup, gave me a good deal. This card actually looks flawless on the front from what I could see. And once again, you know, same problems. Baby Nicks <laughs> on all four corners. And uh, this is the biggest one for me, of course. Subi Kun, as you can see there. One of the best cards ever made, ever can't see any scratches on the floor oh, and there's one right there <laughs> yeah when you guys look over cards you need to look at them with really good lighting um, preferably uh, sunlight or a sunlight and when I say sunlight I actually mean a light that's considered a sunlight um, which is a cool color it makes the scratches on the cards pop out a little easier to see which is how I've always viewed my cards and that's why I've always wound up getting really good grades on cards but yeah I might uh, we would consider almost grading this not for that nick down there and this white mark too bad this wasn't that cool error card that I just recently saw where it looks like a shiny version it's like kinda like a lighter white whitish blue color um, here's the rest of the set um, I'll probably take a look at a lot of these off camera. A lot of really, really awesome looking cards like this Ante, especially the Ho Oh, um, Raichu, Raikou. Overall, I mean, this set is just a, it's an amazing, amazing set. Um, I do have the Shinings as well. Let me set these aside. This is becoming a rather long video. <laughs> I apologize for that. 
But these cards are very, very special and awesome. So we got our Shining Gary Deuce. Our Shining Gary, as some people would call him. <laughs> got a few of these as well. Like, I probably have, like, anywhere in between two to seven of every single hollow from this set in first edition. And I am so grading this. <laughs> this would be awesome to have a second ten of. Like, this card is just ferocious. But every single time I get the Shinings, I always wind up grading them, and they always wind up doing quite well, especially if you have Neo Destiny. But this set is so much more difficult to grade in 10, even the Shinings. Um, I think the, uh, the Magikarp is a little bit harder to grade in a 10 than the Gyarados is from the population report that I've seen. Um, people actually sometimes even pay higher for the Magikarp than they do the Gyarados just because they're... Don't really pop up too often. Really nice cards though. I mean like this card is so sweet looking. It's awesome. The gold color. Gold magic carp. So awesome looking. Take a peek at the back here. Uh, like overall this set is very nice looking. I have no complaints. Except for that uh, the blissy that makes me want to scream. <laughs> And a text tone from my phone. Hopefully it doesn't keep on going. Had to pause that part of the video again. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt to open up the case that these cards were in. So, here is my Neo Discovery set. Um, it was actually four cards shy of uh, completion. Unfortunately, the four cards that were missing were hollows, which really sucks. Um, but thankfully though, the condition of this set in comparison, well, the quality I should say, I don't know, I haven't seen the condition just yet, but generally the quality of this set is just like, normally it's pretty immaculate. So I'm really hoping that this one looks very well. Um, a lot of the time they have like flawless backs, um, always pretty overall good centering and edges and no scratches in the hollows a lot of the time. Except for like a few random cards like Yanma. Yanma always, for some reason, has a bunch of scratches all over the hollow. And it's so random, like even straight out of a pack, it doesn't even look like factory defect scratches either a lot of the time. Well, this one's got some strange edge wear at the bottom of it. That's okay, I've got like, I've had a couple of those in 10 before, so it's okay. Um, it's missing a Hound Doom, that's why we're skipping over to Hound Dower. This one probably wasn't pulled out of a pack, it's got some weird up and down scratches on it. So I'm expecting somewhat of edge wear. <laughs> uh, just only really hoping to get 10s on the important cards. And that, surprisingly, is the first card I've knocked over in this video. Um, got Kabutops here, which is a freaking sick looking card. I love this card. It's coming at you, slashing the crap out of everything in sight. This one's got some marks up at the top and on the left hand sides. Which stinky dinks. Um, got Magnemite here. Which is a really cool looking card. Um, really like the background on these. Um, just so computery looking. A lot of these seem to have a bit of edge wear on them. Doesn't really quite look like edge wear that's caused from out of pack edge wear either. It kind of looks like someone played with them a little bit. Um, even even though the hollows on the cards look really, really good too, which is odd to me that there would be any edge wear on these at all. With how nice they look on the front. This one looks pretty good overall. It's got like a couple smudge marks on it though. <clears throat> Moving on. We got the smear goal, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get in a 10. I've never had a Smeargle in a 10, and I've had like, I think this is probably about my fourth or fifth set that I've ever owned of this. 
looks like this one's just got a small speck up there but overall the card looks like it's pretty good mine normally has like some vertical scratches in it this one looks great that's awesome it's good news moving along we got everyone's probably you know well to me top three hollows of the card set Tyranitar I've had two of these in a ten I've got a couple more right now actually I think I got like one at PSA right now it's got a small nick right here which sucks sorry if this quality video is boring you but at least if you don't want to watch it you could always just watch the beginning <laughs> A lot of the time when I buy stuff, it's sent to me in a binder. And look at that. That beautiful Umbreon card. Um, love this card so much. Looks to be pretty good on the front. Good centering. The course, there's a small nick down here at the corner. On a couple of the corners, so. Kind of sucks a little bit. Um, it's hoping to have a couple cards that would get tens out of here paid a decent amount of money for this um these sets are just a pain to come by in general so to be able to get at least a few tens to either make my money back or a lot of the time for me right now it's not really so much about making my money back um really trying to just knock the sets out and get the tens that i'm missing from the sets that i buy and it just seems like I can't find a good quality seller right now. Every single set that I've picked up off of somebody as of lately has just been kind of mediocre compared to the last two years I've been buying stuff. So I don't know. Kind of sucks, but... Don't really look to return these. Um, pretty sure I can make my money back even if I was to sell them or off to somebody as a complete set um, this is the most important card out of the set I've been buying these things even ungraded and I could still see like like always factory scratch is going up and down right next to his wings so that really sucks and the back of it just has a couple nicks on it up here and here but overall I could see the set getting nothing but nines which is usually not typical for that set. So we'll see. I'll have to look over them a little bit more in depth at a later time. Since I'm not going to be doing a, that on a video. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um, kind of out of place, random polyrath there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that I was missing that. So hopefully this one looks good. So got there, nice little old polyrath. I actually have two of these in a ten right now, so if anyone's looking for one of these, I do have an extra for trade or sale. You got a card that I'm in need of in a ten. Just got a little nickage. Video will probably cut off there. Um, just a few of the awesome cards. Um, a lot of these are just reprint versions just not the butterfree and the beedrill um espion umbreon are the only two cards that get get some love because they have alternate artworks which is pretty cool and then of course the rest of the set which you guys aren't interested in seeing i know you guys like the hollows <laughs> but anyways guys this video has gone on for far too long anyways hope you enjoyed <laughs> bye